In this video I'm going to draw a bat for my new coloring book called Wild and Witchy. So join me and let's get started. First thing I always do is I grab a blue uh, and I grab my line thickness, my thickest line that I have saved here which is 55% in the mono line brush. So I want this bat hanging from a branch or hanging from something anyways. I haven't decided what I'm going to have him hanging from. I might have him hanging next to like some herbs. That actually sounds kind of cute. Okay, so I'm going to just draw him like this. He's going to have a wing that's wrapped around himself here. And then another wing coming like this. There. And then his cute little head is going to go here. He's got a little snout. And I'm going to give him some big eyes. So I might make, even make his head a little bigger than this. Oops. So I want to grab his head. Select tool. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Like that. Just because he's a cute little character, right? Cool, I like that so far. He's going to be furry. Um, he's going to have some like little kind of, I don't know, like you know how bats have, I don't know, like they're, I don't know what you call that. Bones? <laughs> arms? Like their arms are like inside the wing, if that makes any sense. I hope that makes sense. And then I think they usually have like one kind of talony piece right here. Yeah, that's looking cute. Okay. So we'll do like an eye like that. And then maybe I'll have some, he'll be hanging next to like some herbs. Because it's weird and witchy, so we want it to have, so maybe it'll be, there'll be a little moon and a star, something like that. That's looking cute. All right, so let's uh, let's get started. So I'm gonna have this. We don't really know what this is. It's not gonna be anything of consequence because we don't really care, <laughs> to be honest. Nobody's gonna really give me um, any feedback on that. I'm sure, or nobody's really gonna care whether or not that's a tree branch or whatever it is. They they're really focused on the bat, so. Alright, so I'm going to create this little bat wing, and he's hanging so I want his little I'm gonna do I think we're gonna do a couple of points here. I just did. Alright. And just have little spikies. So he is he is like in bed for the night. So he is wrapped. <laughs> I'm house sitting so there's cat hair everywhere. <laughs> just ignore it if you see cat hair enter the scene. So he is kind of like, that's part of his wing. And I think he'll have a little feet. His little feet will be like this. Yeah. So I don't know like what's going on back here with his feet, but He's got little feet. Anyway, all right. So I'm going to add a new layer for the other wing. Because he's got like kind of a thing going on here. And then we want his little, his little knuckles. I was watching this lady um, on TikTok and she rescues little bats and they are so cute. Sometimes they like lose their mamas. 
so cute. She like feeds them and gives them a, a little solution, like a little baby formula for bats. I think it's just sugar, but it's really cute. Wish I could remember her name. Alright, <clears throat> then he's got a little talon that comes. I think I want it to go like this. Alright, let's make his cute little face. Uh, okay, so he's gonna be kind of like this. Because he's a little bit furry. I want this to be pointier. This is making me want to watch like a like a vampire movie or something. <laughs> He's so cute. like that. Oh, he's so cute. And maybe I'll make him like a couple little eyelashes. And we'll give him some, we'll give him some cute little googly eyes. So cute. <laughs> Oops. And I'm gonna erase this little bit here. Just give him a little bit of like hairiness to his face. Like that. Oh, it's so cute. Alright. So now I'm going to do my my cute little herbs and stuff. So I want to give a little bit of a line thickness to that so that it looks like um, or so that it's something that people can color and I'll go ahead and erase that line in the back and actually you know what with his feet I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna do the same thing with his feet I'm going to do the same thing with his feet I'm gonna give you something to color instead of just doing little feet I think I'll give him more body over here too. It's looking a little weird. Alright, so let's give him let's give him like I'm not liking that. There we go. And then here and erase that back piece that he's hanging on. So that's okay, I don't mind that. I'm gonna go back to this layer and we're gonna create, um, I think I'm gonna create kind of like a rope. So I want it to be like, how do I want this to look? I think I'll just go like this. No, I want you to have something to color, so I'm gonna have it coming off the side here. Just realizing I made that 
the wrong thickness. up that line. I'm going to lower that down a little bit. Like that. And then I'm going to make a little star. I always struggle with stars. they're not even. There's usually five points to a star. So you want to make sure they're like it looks like a star. Oops. I think that's that's good enough. And I'll lower this and clean up my line a little bit. Alright, so now I want to create an herb. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to increase my line thickness so that I can do like, actually this one I think I'm going to do like it's tied. Like this. Like that. And then I'll go back to my, oops, go back to my bottom layer and erase that before I forget. That. All right. So now I'm going to <clears throat> I'm going to start small here, and I want every once in a while I want one in the middle. So I'm going to go like this. This isn't any like particular herb, it's just an herb. I'm just making little, little things and then I'll probably create like more my line thickness. Do like a little leaf here and there. Just connect them all. So again, I always want people to have something to color, so I don't want to just do a line. So I'll do it like that. That is looking pretty cute. I guess I should probably finish off his body. I'm going to delete that back layer now so you can actually see. Alright, so now we're gonna just add his little his little sleeping little body or trying to sleep. That is so cute. So I actually uh, know somebody who works for a company and she works with scientists and she was saying that there's this there's this breed of bat that gets um, infections in their noses and if it's not taken care of then you know they end up itching their noses in their sleep and they don't get enough sleep and they end up passing away and I just thought oh those poor little baby bats but they came up with a solution so we don't have to worry about it they have they spray the little bats in their sleep and now they they are they can thrive so so I think I'm just gonna add a couple little details here. 
I just thought that was a really cute story. It just broke my heart to think of the poor little bats scratching their little noses in the sleep in their sleep. There we go. I think I'll add a little line across here too. Like that. And then I'll just erase that spot. And I think we're done. Oh my goodness, isn't he cute? Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.